Hey, what's up? It's Jake from Nimbus DevOps, and we're here to go over problem 1.6, which is implement a method to perform basic string compression using the counts of repeated characters. If the compressed string would not become smaller than the original string, return the original string. This sounds very simple, but it was actually a little uh, interesting of a problem, and I thought it was a lot of fun. So let's take a string. Um, and let's call this like a a a b b c c c c c c c d d e e like that there string whole bunch of repeated characters and the idea is to return something similar where i go a appears three times b appears twice c appears what one two three four five six seven eight times D appears twice, and then E appears, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 times. So it should return this. This is shorter than this, so I should get this back, right? But if, but if they were the same length or something, it would just return the original. And the idea is that we're going to build some kind of compression algorithm. All right, so there's our string. Here's what I know the, the correct answer to be. Uh, so let's let's start let's start going. So we're gonna make a function called string comp, and we're gonna pass an argument s. At the end of this, I'm just gonna print a string comp pass argument s. All right. So what do we want to do? Uh, let's see. So we need some kind of um, index and probably a counter. And then we'll append our index with a counter. So I'm thinking like check the first number and then like if or the first i like for i and s kind of thing. And if the second one is the same as the first, then increment the counter. If the third one is the same as the second, increment the counter. If you get to this one, it's not the same as the previous one, then just print this number or print the counter and then print the new number the new character and then just keep going through. So I'm going to be basically printing out my first character, my index 0, and then my counter, and then my next character, and then my counter, next character, counter, next character, counter, and so on and so forth. So I think I think that sounds doable. So let's do a string. Well, I called this string comp. Let's s comp uh, will be equal to s at index 0. But I need to make a list, and inside of this list, or an array, whatever you want to call it, uh, and inside of here is going to be one value. So I want to I return this, and I'm going to do it as a list so I can iterate over it. And then I'm going to have one value inside, and it's basically going to be A. So it's just going to start with an A. And then I need a count, and I'm going to set that equal to 1, because assuming there is at least one value in here, the count of this value is one with me so far. Okay, so now I'm gonna say for i in range, and we're gonna start at one, because we're not at index zero, we already have index zero. Whatever the length of s is, what do we wanna do? We're gonna say if s i is equal to s i minus one, then my count should plus equals one. Okay, so what does that mean? So I started with s comp is a. My count is one. S i, so we're starting at one. So this second character here is equal to s i minus one. So this second character a is the same as the first character a. So that's true. So then our count is now two because I have two a's. So my count plus equals one now becomes two, which makes sense. Um, once I get to the third character at index two, right? So uh, for I in range one length, now we're at, at two in this range. Uh, index two is A, that is equal to index one, which is A. So the count is going to increment, and we're going to have a count equal to three. So now we should have three, but our S comp still just has an A in it. So now we need to get the three in there. So, um, I guess what we'll do is we'll do s comp dot append 
uh, our count. So, but what if it's not true? So then now we get the three in here. So now we should have a three, but now we get the b in there. So if it's not equal to that, then what we'll do is we'll go s comp dot. We don't really want to extend it. I want to. Um, well, I guess I want to take this out. What I want to do is I want to extend it, and I'm going to pass it my count and whatever SI value. So, hey, uh, this was not true. I got to B. So go ahead and add the count and also add the next letter. So I should get the count, which is 3, and then I should get the next letter, which is B. And then reset my counter to 1 because we're on a new letter now. And then it should go through and do the same thing. And it gets to E at the end. And it goes through and it, it's incrementing the count. And it gets to the very end. And it goes, I'm out of letters. I don't have anything else to pass. But it's still true. So it's not going to pass my value, my, my count. Yeah, so at the very end, what I'll do is I'll go S comp dot and I'll just append at the end of the list whatever the count is at the end and then I'll just make a response and say take all those values and join them now I've got strings and um, integers so I can't just convert this to a string so I'm gonna make a map and turn everything into a string inside of scomp and then return my response. That makes sense to me. Uh, so now, I guess what I need to do is, I can't just print this, actually. I have to say, my I have a compressed string, so C underscore string uh, is equal to, and then we'll do string comp passing s and we'll set that as a variable and then we'll say if the length of c underscore string is less than the length of s then give me the compressed version if it's not then just print out the original string okay so that makes sense to me let's see if it makes sense to python <laughs> Okay, uh, what are we passing? This crazy value right here. A3, B2, C8, D2, E11. And there you have it. Okay, so that was my method that I made to compress a string. Uh, if I take one of these off, it should ch change this to 10, and it does. If I make this really small, it still makes it small. If I say A2, this should say A2, right? But the original is AA, so it's not it's not the same, so it should return AA. And it does. Sweet. If I do AABB, that would be A2, B2, right? They're both four. So since it's not shorter, it should return the original, AABB. But if I did AABBB, that would be longer because it the compressed version would be four characters, A2, B3. And there we go. So if you have any questions, let me know. But if not, uh, happy coding.